I'm sitting here in the studio reacting to my friend. That is just so special. I always say this, normalize girls being mad. Like, have a healthy outlet for anger. Scream it into music. Moxie. Was that Moxie a movie? I've seen this before. Yeah, uh, but where? I know Everybody. Bella. Bella's my friend. <laughs> they're so young. They look like they're 14. <laughs> Top tier like band for them like being that that age. We opened for Bikini Kill at the Hollywood Palladium, and Amy Poehler was at that show, which was really cool. And then one thing led to another, and she invited us to be at this movie, so now we get to play two songs in it. They're so cute. What's going on? They're so good. They're popping off. Amy Poehler, make my dreams. It's a powerful voice for like 15. Oh my god. Yo, they're killing it. I love how they're saying this movie. Still have their braces on. I don't know why, but I found it adorable. So we've all been friends for a while, but we only formed the band last year. Yeah, last year, so we're I'm pretty just like awesome. Yeah. I love them. I'm a huge fan. That was extremely wholesome and amazing. Do you know this band? I actually have no clue. No, I have no idea who they are. The Linda Lindas officially formed in January of 2018 and are already making quite the impact on the music scene. Okay. The band consists of Bella on guitars, Eloise on bass, Lucia on guitar, and Mila on drums. Bella is the oldest at 16 and Mila is only 10. 10 to 16. One of Moxie's main storylines is about punk feminism, which is the ethos of the Linda Lindas. What are your views on modern feminism in this day and age? It's so empowering. It's so cool for, for young girls who are like, oh, who have that idea. Oh, I want to do something cool. I want to be creative. I want to start a band. It, it could go great. Last year, the original song was featured in a Netflix documentary called The Claudia Kishi Club about the importance of the Japanese American character, Claudia Kishi, from The Babysitter's Club. Yo, this goes hard. Their outfit. I'm digging your dress on the left, Miss Girl. It's pretty dope. It's really catchy. They all play instruments and they all sing. I can't believe I'm watching Bella, dude. Like, this is. I'm. <laughs> For some reason, this feels distinctly 2000s. I don't know why. <laughs> I was into Five Sauce when I was young, the pop punk. They're so cute. This is so pure. Yeah, this this really, I feel like I'm eight years old again. <laughs> I'm just like reliving that, I, that era. This song's also really good. I can't believe that girl in the back is 10. It's crazy. See, they got it down. They have their sound and everything. This is such pure wholesome vibes. Oh my God. Did they write the song? We are Claudia Kishi. Everybody. That is dope. They're writing hits at 10 years old. That's crazy. When the Babysitter's Club debuted in 1986, there were very few Asian American characters of note in mainstream fiction. And the stereotype shattering, art loving fashionista Claudia Kishi became a hero to many. Why is this kind of representation so important? I mean, this is big. I haven't really mentioned it, but like, Never really looked up to an Asian artist. Very big lack of Asian people in music, which is so sad. You don't really see Asian people in media. <laughs> like, 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 there's a whole article I read the other day about how Asians all went to YouTube to fill the, the same void that, uh, that was left by television. It's pretty dope to see all of that. Uh, yeah, I think it's more important seeing like more of like a diverse of like different ethnicities and they should like really like open more on like different like takes and just white and more of just like other like people and like what they want. When Biden and Harris won, um, they posted, the Linda Lindas posted a picture of Kamala on their story and they're like, she looks like us. And that's so important in every arena of life, like to have people in music and in fashion and in TV, um, like s diverse people, so people, so all people can relate. 
um, I think that's so important. Most recently, the Linda Lindas went viral for one of their songs that they performed at the LA Public Library as part of the AAPI Heritage Month. Let's take a look. A little while before we went into lockdown, a boy in my class came up to me and said that his dad told him to stay away from Chinese people. After I told him that I was Chinese, he backed away from me. Eloise and I wrote the song based on that experience. Come on, girls. I've never seen this, actually. I always say this. Normalize girls being mad. Like, have a healthy outlet for anger. Scream it into music. <laughs> the music feels so much angrier than the other one. Love it. <laughs> I swear, I don't know why. I appreciate so much, like, their outfits and, like, that they're dressing their age and that they're just, like, vibing. Woo! That's a great line about like ignorance is just honestly not knowing sometimes and not caring to know. <laughs> I love this. Dude, that bass go hard. Eat the mic. I wonder if they realize like how iconic they are. That's crazy. Dude, you felt, you could feel that. Other races are fuming after this. <laughs> Mila, in the beginning, was ex describing this um, awful experience, like traumatizing, ex traumatizing experience, with just the biggest smile on her face. And that is just so, so, it's so productive. Okay, so now that you know about the Linda Lindas, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel like I want to mosh. I feel really proud of Bella and her friends and of women, of young women. I feel really hopeful. I think they're great. I think I, it, their songs are really catchy. I think they're gonna get, probably get somewhere really big since they're barely been doing this for a year. And I feel like they're gonna probably get more and more like into it. Do you have any stories like this that you want to share? I grew up in the suburbs. You, you definitely experience it when you're not white. If you're a minority in the suburbs, you get treated like a minority in the suburbs, you know? It's just how it is. The people who are like saying something and don't like you, such a small percentage. And you just have to like be able to tune that out. Trying to fit in with American culture is really difficult when you're Asian because they have pivot a whole East-West thing. What are your hopes for the future when it comes to racism? Hmm. I feel like the world is always going to be a little racist, which like sort of saddens me. Um, but I hope things get better. As time has gone by, it's gotten way better already. Right? As each generation passes, they're, they're becoming slowly more and more, mm, more accepting. I honestly hope that the level race plays in our society becomes lessened and that it actually, we just embrace each other. Well, I definitely want racism to cease to exist. It's definitely not going to be possible because it, it, racism has always been there. It's just been quiet because there was no phones. I hope more people won't, won't like probably shy down or maybe like be more um, expressive what they've experienced so they can make other people aware. Is there anything you want to say to the Linda Lindas if they are watching right now? Man, first of all, y'all make me feel old. <laughs> Like, I remember when I was 10, and I'm just like, I didn't do any of that. You guys seem to know way more than I did when I was 10. Yeah, like, they're, like, saying what they have to say, writing it, shouting it to the world, when I felt like I couldn't even stand up for myself when I was their age. Oh my god, yes. I can't wait to meet the rest of you. Bella, I love you. You're, you inspire me so much. Just. Keep creating what's inside of you and let it come out naturally. Racism, even casual racism, is still prevalent throughout the world. It's up to us to use our voices to call it out. Thanks to Belinda Lindas for doing something about it. Thank you for watching this episode of React. Let us know what you guys want us to react to next. Bye guys. Don't be a racist, sexist boy. See ya.